guys, uh, welcome back to Big Bear Bikes. Uh, we've got a pretty special, special bike and a very special person that's come to collect the bike today. So this is Mary from Boom Pods. Uh, Mary, just tell us a little bit about Boom Pods and, and kind of like your racing background, I suppose, a little bit if you can. So yeah. Yeah, so uh, Boom Pods is um, an elite women's cycling team. Uh, we're based here in the northeast. Yeah. Um, it's a team of women run by women, so we're quite yeah. special in yeah. that respect. Um, we race at the uh, the national level in the UK, um, yeah. with a few international races thrown yeah. in as well. Yeah. Um, my racing background is that I'm actually relatively new to, to bike racing. Yeah. I came from a running background. Yeah, we were um, just talking about it. <laughs> we were, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, I'm amazing at that as well. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. It, was, yeah. It, was, it was a good career while it lasted. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, an injury stopped me from running and I switched, right, switched yeah. to the bike in yeah. uh, about 2018. Right. Um, and since then I've, uh, yeah, I really enjoyed racing the bike. And, and now this season we've got the, the national series to look forward to. Brilliant. Um, and also hopefully going over to Ireland again to, oh, okay. to race the RAS. Yeah. So when's your kind of first race actually coming about then, that your first race this season sort of thing? Um, so we've already started. Yeah. We actually started in March, which oh, is God, really early. early for, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and it was, it was cold. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's wrong, it should be yeah. in the summer. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah. But this weekend we've actually got Lincoln Grand Prix coming up, oh, which is a, okay. an obviously a real classic in yeah. the calendar. Um, and that's the next big race for the team. Ah, oh, super duper. So let's move on to the new Amanda then because this is a bike you're coming to collect from us uh, and it is a pretty special bike. Are, we, are you going to be racing this bike this weekend? I hope so. Hey, yeah, excellent. yeah, right. I think okay, uh, I, need to, I need to try it. Obviously, get yeah. a little bit used to it, but yeah. that's the, the plan is to race it, yeah. Brilliant, okay. So, yeah, you've chosen uh, Trekking Monda. Now, obviously, it's known as the lightweight climbing super race bike, but you've gone for a bit of a special one here. So this is one of uh, the Project One bikes, isn't it? And it's the SLR frames, so SLR 800 series, OCLV carbon. Uh, super, super lightweight. They've spent a lot of years kind of making this even lighter and lighter, but it's super aero as well and nowadays as well. Uh, we'll talk about the magic paintwork that you've chosen, which is ace. It's a uh, beautiful, it's amethyst, isn't it? But uh, yeah, SLR 8, 800 series is, when I say light, is crazy. It's 690 grams of lightweight uh, in, a, in, a, in a 52 frame, but in this 54, it isn't much more, so that is amazing. Uh, very lightweight forks as well. So 200 and, I think 290 grams, so it is a mega, mega light thing. Uh, lovely lightweight carbon Aeolus uh, Pro wheels there, 37 mil. And you've got 25 tyres. We're going to change it over to some of your tyres, aren't we? Because you, you're sponsored by... Yeah, we, we're sponsored by Continental. Okay, um, yeah. So yeah, I'll be putting on some uh, GP 5000s. Excellent. Tubeless. And brilliant. And, uh, yeah, it's just that... Yeah. Uh, They're a grippy, in, fast tyre, aren't In my they? opinion, yeah. yeah. I mean, I've yeah. always ridden Conti and yeah. I just... I, trust them 100 percent absolutely so. yeah and we can get hold of those as well so they're a really lovely tire definitely yeah uh, you changed we changed a few little things on it haven't we to make it a little bit more bespoke to what your riding style is as well so so i guess we've talked through it so we've gone to we've got a couple of things really so you've gone to a, a slightly more compact chain set there this particular bike would have come with a semi-compact which is a 52 36 now this one is a, a 34 50 so it gives you that extra kind of climbing ability i suppose isn't it for it yeah. is and it's always what i've always ridden right, um, okay. i have ridden yeah. the 52 36 as well yeah. and I'm always torn between which one yeah. to go with, but because I've always been used to the 5034. It's quite spinny. You must be a really fast, you know. Yeah, I think yeah. I think that's that's probably what I do do, and yeah. it's it, sometimes it's it can be a little bit of a, a limiter potentially if you're yeah. on really fast downhills. But yeah. I'm yeah. hoping the aerodynamics will. Uh, oh, make up definitely. For that. Yeah, yeah. And we made some uh, changes here as well. So we got the uh, it's a it's a five mil. Uh, degree so uh, swept back so they, normally they've got a 20 mil on these but just brought it a little bit more forward uh, which gives you kind of a, i guess a little bit more going over the front of the bike a little bit more is that just a, just for kind of bike fit really yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's the position i like i like yeah. to be as far forward yeah. over the over the pedals as i yeah. can be and so yeah that being able to switch that out was a real yeah a real bonus definitely. it as makes well. a difference doesn't it you it really does. feel those subtle differences as well don't you yeah uh, the aeolus uh, elite saddle that we've got on there as well we've we've set it up in the way that they they you can almost looks like a hammock doesn't it in yeah. its design and i know you've probably found it very comfortable riding and stuff but let us know how you get on with it but the, we've set it it's designed to be set like 2.5 degrees down and it just gives you that ability just to be sort of sat into the the saddle itself so it just and it, it stops you from you know sometimes you'll have been on a saddle yourself where it's not quite right and it, you're almost forever pushing back aren't yeah, you, you know? yeah, but it, it does hold you in place really really well which is really great 
and it's got the one piece integrated handlebar and stem on there so that's a, a neat feature as well Very neat. another aero feature as well do you think you will move down a bit there or are you quite happy with the height and everything or do, is it something to play with it's something to play with yeah. i'm gonna I, I think i will be moving dropping it down uh -huh. over time but i don't want to yeah. obviously go straight down and no, be, no, no. have no, yeah. nothing to play with so no, that's it, so yeah. we'll start with it there and then yeah. as i've ridden it a few times i'll uh -huh. i'll have a move around and yeah. see what feels best absolutely and it's very easy to do as well because these they all they all come apart separately and then obviously we can drop it you know and obviously to make it neater we might need to cut it but <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah you might have a little you know chimney pot sticking out for a bit but <laughs> a hey, bit. it's cool yeah that's absolutely fine yeah so let's talk about the color of the bike because this is pretty magical color uh, it's called amethyst isn't it and it's yeah. I think I can see about, I don't know, we can see about four or five different colours while we've been talking around it, haven't we? But it, yeah, from different lights, I mean, we'll have, to, we'll, have to, we'll have to go around the bike again and show you a few more colours. But, but it, yeah, it's, I guess the main colours we see, or see in it, it's probably got a green and a purple in it, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. But I think there's, a, there's, there's a probably a, a bit of brown, brown and a bit of blue. blue. Yeah. I think in the light it just changes yeah. constantly. I, yeah. think I got really lucky as well because this, mm. this particular bike appeared on the stock oh, list wow. and it was the one available in this size and yes. I was just like yeah that's the one I want so I must say actually there is sometimes quite a wait for project one bikes it can be you know it can be quite a few days so let's say into the hundreds potentially so so yeah very very lucky because it was lucky, it was yeah. a bike that yeah was available so and it's nice that we can you know have somebody to to ride it and properly use it and to use it for its absolute race purposes so we've got some nice uh, gears on it as well so we've got Shimano Ultegra it's the new 12 speed system obviously all electric uh, the new 12 speed system is a little bit different than it used to be because it used to be wired all the way through but there's now only a wire between the two there uh, so there's no wires from the top uh, so it is it's fully integrated are you used to shimano uh, i'm very used to shimano mm. i the wireless system mm. and, and actually electronic shifting is yeah. going to be a new oh, okay. new for me yeah. um, oh, i have cool. ridden it but i've never yeah. actually had it on one of my bikes oh, okay cool. um, but i've always had shimano so that's uh, oh, something yeah. that i'm keeping consistent brilliant but i am yeah. excited to have the electric gears because it oh it's, yeah. yeah yeah so easy yeah absolutely yeah i mean the thing that surprises me when i ride them is is that how quick they are yeah. you know and even under pressure because you're going to race it and you know, as much as you want to have a bit of empathy with the gearbox, let's say, or with the gears, you need to get through the gears. Yeah, don't you? there's you need to occasions do it when yeah, you have yeah. to change them. Slam the through them, yeah, definitely. And it, and it works under pressure, which is ace. Uh, and it is so fast and so nimble. And it's always, you know, the one thing that surprises me is that it's always adjusting. So, it, you know, there's none of that noises that you get where you've got like the chain tanging along you know catching the derailleurs as it were it's always adjusting so i guess there's three different three different ways that you can set the bike up in, in the electronic side which i'm sure you've had a look at and ridden of course but there's yeah i guess you've got your manual design haven't you where it you, where you click and you change gears yourself uh, but then you've got sort of semi-sequential which is i guess that you know when you come off the if you come off the top ring to the little ring you often need to adjust at the back don't mm. you you can have it set so it it does that adjustment doesn't it which is quite lovely incredible. yeah it is isn't it it's really really good and then you've got the full automatic isn't you where 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 you're changing up and down these and it and it finds the right time to put it into the front and so it, at times you're thinking oh how does it know yeah. that but but it I think that it's clever in the way that it, you hear the noise and you sort of back off the pressure a little bit, don't you? And you can still, you know, still ride it and still, you know, still put pressure on. But you, you know, in the past you'd have probably gone a little bit more careful when you drop down because you never want to drop a chain exactly, or anything like yeah. that. But it, it's, it is clever, isn't it? It's a very it's clever a system. Bit too clever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How does it know? <laughs> yeah. 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 No. 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 Absolutely super. You've got it paired with the, I guess, the Ultegra uh, disc brakes as well. So. You've been riding disc brakes, I'm sure, for many, many years now, and that's I another. I actually haven't. Oh, right, well, okay. No, and that yeah. was one of my big, uh, ah, big okay. things for going disc ah, brake this right, season yeah. was to. Wow. Um, yeah. I just found that in the peloton now, mm -hmm. it's you don't necessarily need disc brakes to yeah. stop. Yeah. But in the peloton, there's now so many people on ah. disc brakes. When you're on rim and yeah. carbon wheels, particularly, yeah. the stopping distances are so different. That's so interesting. It was isn't it? becoming yeah. really yeah. quite in my opinion quite dangerous yes, um, yeah, and I yeah. felt like I wanted to go disc brake just so that I was kind of in the, the yeah, same ballpark sort of as everyone power, else. Yeah, yeah. I've had that before actually I've been in races before races and stuff and it is it's damn scary how fast some bikes can stop in front of you because there's no brake lights is there? Nope. And you just you have to know don't you what's going to happen yeah. and obviously you have that awareness but sometimes you can't believe how quick other people can stop can you? And no, no. Yeah and I can imagine that's in your racing you know a little bit more serious than mine is yeah quite dicey. Yeah, yeah. 
so it's all wet weather it's that's the big oh, the yeah, big problem yeah, so, yeah. so yeah i'm excited to be yeah definitely yeah, on a par with most people now yeah absolutely yeah well yeah you're gonna have all those extra performances i think it gives you lots more confidence as well because you know the brake's going to work in all weathers like you just said uh, it's it's the confidence inspiring but it's also uh, the control of the brakes as well because you can i think that they they, they allow a little bit more grip into your tires as well which has got quite clever kind of formula but but yeah clever uh, also it looks after these babies because you're not wearing them away you know so you're only wearing a pad away and that pad's going to be what at max maybe 20 pounds to change rather than a set of wheels that are going to be into the thousands out there at times so yeah it's a big difference yeah, yeah definitely yeah so super and you've gone to you've gone to tubeless so lots of i guess lots of technologies that have sifted down from mountain bike stuff that are on a road bike now and finally like the uci have allowed those things to come in and, and you're getting all those benefits but yeah i i think you're gonna love it i know you're gonna love it but i think you're gonna enjoy the extra speed and the extra aerodynamics of it but we're so looking forward to seeing how you do as well thank you, know? you. Yeah, no, well, thank you to you yeah. guys for helping sort it out not it's a problem yeah. yeah it's made a massive difference to me so i'm oh, excited to get yeah. racing on it and yeah. yeah represent you guys on boom yeah. pods as well yeah so keep a look out for mary uh, in her racing and stuff and i'm sure we're going to follow you anyway in a little bit more and there's it's televised isn't it as well Quite yeah a lot, a lot of yeah. the races yeah. are um yeah. lincoln certainly has got highlights um i'm not yeah. sure it's live but uh -huh. there's definitely highlights after um, Brilliant. and then some of the some of the other national series are televised excellent well we we'll look forward to seeing how you do excellent and all the best as well for this weekend <laughs> cheers thank, thank you, you very much cheers